welcome back. Time to get a check of what's trending in the feed. Social media blaze over comments that NBC News host Megyn Kelly made yesterday morning during her 9 o'clock hour of the Today Show. Kelly now apologizing for questioning why wearing blackface is considered racist. Rachel joining us now, and her comments getting a lot of folks upset, and we should say new this morning, she has issued an official apology about what she said. That's right, Ben. Megan Kelly's really walking back on her comments. If you were watching Megan today, yesterday, during that 9 a.m. hour Ben mentioned, you probably felt a little uncomfortable watching the panelists discuss this topic. Now, keep in mind, there was a group of them, and they were talking about offensive Halloween costumes when the topic of blackface came up. Take a listen. There was a controversy on The Real Housewives of New York with Luann as she dresses Diana Ross and she made her skin look darker than it really is and people said that that was racist. And I don't know, I thought like, who doesn't love Diana Ross? She wants to look like Diana Ross for one day. I, I don't know how like that got racist on Halloween. I like, I, back, okay, back when I was a kid, that was okay as long as you were dressing up as like a character. Now, I do want to point out, because we only heard from Megyn Kelly there, the panelists did not echo her opinion in any way, them really going as far as saying, if you think something is offensive, chances are it is. So let's take a look at some tweets that we're seeing. Padma Lakshmi, a host and author, saying, I cannot believe the ignorance on this in 2018. You are on national television. You have a responsibility to educate yourself on social issues, Megyn Kelly. This is so damaging, which is a point. She has a big platform. Whether it's any social issue, stepping out there with opinions is, is risky. And you can see also Adam Rapone, the Olympian. What year did she grow up in? Because Megyn Kelly said when she was growing up, this wasn't an issue. Also, we're seeing Ebony Magazine. Picture this, a table of educated white Americans discussing why they think blackface shouldn't be considered racist. The irony alone is enough to make you want to scream. This is America. I need to validate your point when it wasn't asked the need to validate your point when it wasn't asked. Keep in mind, again, those panelists did not echo Megyn Kelly's opinion. She did issue this apology overnight, though, saying, I realize now that such behavior is indeed wrong, and I am sorry. The history of blackface in our culture abhorrent the wounds too deep. So we will definitely be waiting to see what Megyn Kelly has to say on her show today, which I'm sure she will address this, Ben. Yeah, I mean, we watch her every morning in the newsroom, and I think she prides herself in being a contrarian and trying to go against you know, norms. She does, but, and she speaks out about that. She said that in her lengthy full response last night sent out. Yeah, anybody who knows the history of blackface know, knows it's offensive. All right, Rachel, thank you. Yeah.